Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beckstrom, and today we're going to take a look at a sample problem from section 3.5. Uh, this is finding the volume of a rectangular prism with it looks like it's missing half of a cylinder. So in order to get started here, uh, we're going to need to go ahead and know the volume of a rectangular prism. So volume of a, let's put a little r there, and that's just equal to length times width times height. And then we also need to know the volume of a cylinder. I'll put a little C there, so I know that one is cylinder. And that's going to be the area of the base, which is the area of a circle. So that's pi r squared times the height of the uh, cylinder. And remember, we're going to end up dividing this by 2, um, because this is only half of the cylinder. So we're basically just going to take half of it. All right, so uh, the... The complete volume is going to be VR plus one half of our volume of our cylinder. So we can kind of set it up like that if we want to. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and find the volume of, oh, that is not plus, that is going to be a minus, isn't it? It's going to be a minus because we need to take out that that is not included there. All right, so let's take the volume of the uh, mm -hmm. rectangular prism. So the volume is going to be equal to length times width times height. So that is going to be um, all the way across is 7 times, uh, looks like we have a 4 there, times 6. And that is going to equal, let me calculator here. 7 times 4 times 6. We have 168. So the volume of our rectangular prism is equal to 168. Now let's find the volume of our cylinder. And that's going to be equal to pi. And for this problem, they told us to use 3.14 in place of pi. So that's just a approximation 3.14 times the radius now if this is the distance across the circle here the radius would be half of that so we take half of 6 which is 3 and then we're going to square that and then times the height that would be the distance uh, the height of the cylinder so from one circular base to the other so that distance there is 6 times 6 and when we put this in our calculator here, we're going to have, we'll do the squared first. So 3 uh, squared is 9. And then we're going to multiply that by 6 and times 3.14. And that's 169.56. So it's equal to 169.56. But remember, we only want half of that. So... If you take half of this, which is the same thing as just dividing by 2, um, oh, there's my calculator here. So divide that by 2, and you're going to get 84.78. 84.78. So our final answer is this here. That's the volume of our rectangular prism minus half of the volume of the cylinder there. So we should get, let's figure this out, 168 minus 84.78. We get 83.22. So that's going to be equal to 83.22. And this is going to be cubic yards. Cubic yards, because we're talking about volume, and the distance here is yards. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know, and have a great rest of your week. Thanks.